Alrighty guys, so today we're actually in Anime Warrior Simulator 2. Let me just pick a character real quick. And yeah, I know I haven't posted for like about a month, and I'm sorry for that. But I'm sure you guys can actually relate to me on this, that YouTube Simulator is getting kind of repetitive. Um, It's a cool game. I definitely will keep playing it, but I kind of want to sort of change my focus on the games I play. Because that game is a little bit too much of a, you know, a grind. And to get one YouTube Simulator video, it takes me at least like three to four days to grind. When I can get like at least six videos out if I play other games in that amount of time. But uh, yeah, we're actually in this game now. And let's just open the egg real quick a pirate egg let's see what we get here okay we got zero so that's pretty cool let's uh actually come over here and let's clip him okay so he's not even good and he auto eclipse too so that's pretty cool oh we just claimed that so far the way i'm looking at this game this game does seem almost exactly like anime fighters even the mobs are almost in the same style too but yeah we could actually spin the wheel so let's see what we get here all right we got another potion okay so there is actually achievements here there's also mounts so this game is almost exactly like anime fighters i wouldn't even be surprised if it's made by the same like developers or whatever let's come over here to passes and let's check out these passes so we have super magnets small storage teleports um a bunch of other stuff and yeah there's also warriors i'm not sure if this is pets or if that's like a whole different thing oh shoot we can actually claim quest i forgot let's confirm that and let's try to finish this quest hey you know what for now i'm actually gonna get the super magnet game pass because i do not feel like picking up all these things wait actually does that make sense to get that or should i get like an auto clicker or should i get extra equipped actually you know what? for now i'm not gonna get anything i'm just gonna wait and see if it's gonna be worth it or not all right so it's been a day since i actually last touched this game and now we actually have enough to unlock the next world which is the alien planet i did also find out a few more things about this game like for instance if we come to our warriors you are actually able to level them up which is exactly like anime fighters in the sense of that you know the legendaries do way more damage when you actually level them up to the same level as like let's say you know the epics so that's pretty cool and yeah i really do want to get this mythical but there's no point now because we're actually about to get the new world also if you do your quest you do get mounts so that's pretty cool and it seems like getting secrets is actually really really easy in this game too i'm actually noticing that these people are getting secrets extremely easily i'm not exactly sure what that means though but we just have to get to the best world pretty much and i think there's six worlds at least since we're on update six i'm assuming there's six worlds but who knows so here's the shiny machine it's literally the exact same machine from anime fighters like the design and everything so i'm assuming it's made by the same creators of anime fighters because everything is almost exactly the same but yeah guys i'm actually just gonna keep grinding let me actually open this egg like a few times holy moly i got a legendary in my first pull that's actually crazy that is actually insane and i know that legendary is extremely good too so let's actually equip this unequip all and equip and bam so it does 175 damage at level one and if we actually try to upgrade this okay that's not gonna upgrade with these ones but yeah still pretty cool and yeah i'm just gonna keep grinding i guess we'll come back when we get to and my game crashed but i guess we'll come back when we get to the next world or maybe the world after that not exactly sure but we'll see all right so i've been playing this game a little bit longer here and now we actually have a pirate ship which is actually really really fast compared to you know walking um i don't know what happened to my hat but um it just disappeared anyways we are actually in world three and i think I think there is actually i'm not even sure how many worlds there is so right now we're on three and then four nine and then ten so there's about ten worlds in this game so far and we're only on world three so i want to get to at least world five in this video also i don't know how but i keep getting like these random fighters like for instance i just got this windy fighter i'm not even sure how i got it but it's extremely good um i don't know what world that's in though because i just don't know i guess it's an exclusive i'm not sure how i got it though maybe from the roll or spin the wheel oh yeah i guess i got it from spin the wheel so that's pretty cool right now we are actually moving pretty smoothly we are actually an expert now. Don't know what the best rank is, but I know it's gonna be a while till we get there. And yeah, this game is almost exactly like Anime Fighters. The only difference is probably the UI and that, you know, instead of having time trials as dungeons, I think dungeons are every 30 minutes. And I think raids are also dungeons combined or something like that. I'm not exactly sure which one is which because, you know, I haven't got there yet. But yeah, the next one is actually Land of Demons. I'm assuming that's Demon Slayer. And that's 1.5 million yen. And, you know, we're almost there. So I'm just keep opening eggs and hopefully I can actually auto feed them, which I could. That's cool. And let's see how good we get alrighty guys so we are actually on world five now let me actually come out of here to actually show you guys but we are on world five we were on world three before and now we're actually in the bleach world or bleach map but yeah our best characters or our best warriors is actually this waffly i'm not sure how you pronounce it but yeah surprisingly it's better than this one which is a mythical and it's actually in the world below but the thing is i actually got that character from the spin the wheel i got two really really rare characters from spin the wheel so that's a really really good sign or really really good start for me playing this game and yeah there is also an update in about two days and it says world exclusive egg at given at one minute so i'm assuming like you know when it gets to one minute you could actually get a free egg or a free character or whatever i'm not sure also we do have some new mounts we have a golden mount or a cloud mount pretty cool i do like the effects on it and yeah let's actually come back to battle i do actually want to do the time trial or the dungeons it's called in this game because apparently you actually get some really really like cool stuff from it i think you get either shards or it's like artifacts i'm pretty sure it's artifacts yeah i think it is artifacts you actually get from this so we have to wait about six minutes to actually do this what's in here dungeon shop okay just a bunch of other stuff but yeah we 
give six minutes actually wait to the beginner i'm hoping i can at least get like you know pretty far through the dungeon i guess we got to see also i'm not sure if you need like tickets or anything like that i'm assuming you need a battle ticket for this um how many do i have right now i have zero oh i have a daily battle ticket wait what was that other thing what is this trade reroll token okay cool so i actually have a reroll token and i also have an alien book used for crafting and get this item from alien planet so yeah pretty cool Alrighty, guys so i actually missed like the little update thingy so i wasn't able to get that secret egg or whatever it was but yeah there is a new update i'm not even gonna read to you what any of this is because i am not even you know at the best world so i have no clue what some of this is or all of this is but the main one that really you know matters to me right now is level kept increased to 160 so you know that's pretty important to me also there's a new secret boss i'm not sure what it is but i'm assuming it spawns for like the best boss in every area anyways as i was actually clicking onto my thingy my game actually crashed which is actually crazy so you know that kind of sucks also this is the top 50 reward i guess it's like a little uh like wing set that's pretty cool but yeah my game actually crashed and i lost a ticket so i pretty much had to wait another day to actually do this and here we are so we have to wait 30 minutes again and i'm hoping my game doesn't crash but i don't know why my game's been crashing so often lately like i can't even like auto farm overnight i think it's actually my fps unlocker or something but my game keeps crashing if you guys have any you know ideas why it's doing that definitely let me know in the comments but yeah hopefully while we wait it doesn't actually crash this time okay so i finally actually caught a dungeon on time now and this dude is actually carrying me right now so i'm just gonna try to keep up as best as i can because he's pretty much like beating everything and he just closed the door on me wow okay well oh wait i got teleported okay never mind but yeah i'm just gonna try to keep up as best as i can this dude is literally just doing everything for me so i might as well just take all of the loot from this i guess and yeah we'll come back to see how far we actually get from this i also did just get something i got this a uh, solid gold used to buy items from the traveling merchant so i'm assuming that's like you know the time trial shards but yeah i guess we'll see how far we get all right so we're actually one thing away from actually getting to room 50 and i think that's the last room right there so let's see if we actually beat this thing i also did get 16 things so big shout out to this dude for actually carrying me and does it end at room 50 okay so it actually goes farther than the room 50 we actually did get 16 new things i think we got like three more trade reroll tokens or no no no, it was solid gold and then we also got some other thing i don't remember what it was maybe it was a trade reroll token i'm not even sure anymore but yeah this dude is indeed carrying me right now so i'm gonna let him do his thing i'm gonna let him cook okay he just left the server so i actually have to do this myself now and yeah i guess getting to room 50 is like the most you really need to do it seems like because he just like left the game as soon as he got to this level or this room but yeah let's actually leave here really quick because i do actually want to see what we can buy now all right so here's a dungeon shop i have zero of these i don't even know what that is maybe that's from actually defeating the bosses because i really didn't defeat anything so maybe that's why i didn't get any shards we also got some bronze jewels and silver bands so very fashionable 15 percent critical chance five percent damage or critical damage and then the silver bands is five percent damage and then five percent critical chance so i actually do think maybe the silver band will be a little better i think okay so you could actually fuse these ones so let's just use that and yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video we did a lot i wish we could do more but you know this video will be like 20 minutes long and i do still want to post a little more maybe like two videos a week or three videos a week but yeah oh this guy actually has like a little car as his you know mount it's actually really really cool but yeah if you guys haven't already make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a video if you guys have any tips for me in this game definitely drop them down below and uh yeah peace